La 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 <clears throat>Welcome to Pulse Review, the channel where you get a quick take on the hottest products. And boy, do we have a hot product today. The Final Mouse. This is the Zeus edition, medium sized. I'm sure if you're on this video, you are well aware of all the buzz, all the hype about the final mouse. I gotta say, I was victim of that hype. Final mouse just knows how to build suspense and to create exclusivity for their products. I kind of actually hate them for it, to be honest with you, because if you go online right now and you check out eBay, you're gonna see a bunch of different final mouses all listed two, three, four times, maybe even five times more than the list price, the MSRP, that Final Mouse sold them for. That's really simply just because of supply and demand. And one would be reasonable to request a Final Mouse, why don't you just make more? Well, duh. But, you know, they did this before, they did it again. It's all by design. Even though I secretly hate Final Mouse for doing this to us, I'm still super excited to get into this mouse. So let's unbox this bad boy. Right off the bat, I mean, this box is looking sexy. I mean, I just like cue the epic music. I mean, first off this graphic, it's just like, what would you call this? It's, it looks like, you know, a cave painting back from primitive times. All right, here's the great reveal. Ooh, okay. Wow, I mean, you see the pictures on the website, you know what to expect, but it's definitely got that wow factor. Whoa, that's light, okay. That is super light. Oh my God, this weighs nothing. This is like holding a feather. A lot of design going into this. I mean, it's it's like a piece of art, really. But, all right, let's just keep going through the box here. What is this thing? Huh. I don't know, we'll figure that out in a second. There's gotta be more, right? Ah, yes, the cable. The charging cable. Kinda like a Razor Speedflex cable material. Very soft, won't give you too much friction. See how long this bad boy is. Oh, I still don't know what this is. What is this? And there's there's literally no instructions in here. I mean, I guess you don't, oh wait, 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 oh no. I'm just a fool. Ooh, something's going on in there. Okay. Ooh. Dang, okay. They give you a little card, I did not know about this. Okay, this is like their quick start guide with a little bit of marketing. I mean, I don't know what you would do with this. You could display this on a wall, glue it to your PC. Anyways, it says, designed to be completely driverless, you can simply plug and play in any PC gaming slash eSport environment. Pressing the button underneath the mouse wheel will cycle the DPI between intervals of 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. That's interesting. I am wondering if they don't have any software to like really customize the DPI. Sounds like maybe you just have 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. Tension is nice on the buttons. Can't complain. Here's a little audio test for you. Side buttons. I 
mean, I wonder how much of a beating this thing can take. It just feels a little flimsy. I don't know if this is actually plastic, but it just feels a little plasticky. So yeah, I'm still trying to get over the fact that it feels cheap. Place the wireless receiver between 12 and 24 inches of, from the mouse. So where's the wireless receiver? Is this the wireless receiver? So what, you plug it in here? Oh, this is the receiver. So we got this little puck plugs into the cable they provided. You plug that into the computer is what I'm guessing. Or if you want to do wired, plug it right into the front. Easy enough. If you're not a dingus like me. Okay, there we go. Looks like the, the cable is like perfectly fitted for that slot. That's like a proprietary fit. First impression is feels a little bit cheap, but that's just because it's light. You know, I like having that switch between a clicky scroll wheel and a smooth scroll wheel, so we're missing that. But it is super lightweight, basically no casing at all. The design, loving it, but we'll have to see how it feels in game. So I'm gonna test this out and then uh, we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts after, you know, actually diving in and playing some games with this thing. Apparently you are not able to bind the side buttons to anything other than mouse 4 and mouse 5. So a bit of a Debbie Downer. There's no software to program any of these buttons or change your DPI. You're stuck to the four settings out of the box. Ooh, it's a hot one. Oh, poor kid. Oh. Oh, yes, he's dead. Oh, yes. It's everything that that man deserves. Oh, no, he's peeking it. This is my game. Oh, my. I even no scoped him. I got him. <laughs> what are you doing? Easy. All right, guys, so now that I've given it a fair shot, I've tested the mouse out. Here's what I did like about it. I love that it's super lightweight. I love that it's wireless. I think the you know clicks are solid. The, the button tensioning is, is dialed in nicely. Other than that, I can't really say I love this mouse. What I didn't like is you can't customize any of the buttons on the mouse. That's a big no-no for me. Another one, you can't customize the DPI aside from the four presets out of the box. That's a huge no-no for me. You know, for what they charge, they should provide software for you to change those things. So should you pick one up for yourself? Uh, I can't say I would recommend it, especially with the prices I'm seeing on eBay right now. It's just not worth it. Unless you really, really got to have that final mouse, I would skip this one, guys. But hey, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and please consider joining the Discord server. We would love to have you. Uh, make sure you're cool, though. We have only cool people in the Discord server. Very exclusive. The link will be down below. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.